Hello divers. It's been a long time since the last video, but we're back. Uh, we're going to be start making videos again, and uh, in the meantime, I've appreciated uh, all of the comments and likes and questions on the, the videos that have been up. Um, some of them have, have really been viewed a lot and maybe have been handy to some of you. Um, so we're going to get back into it and uh, look to grow the channel. So uh, if you do like it and uh, you want to support the channel and support the growth, you know how the algorithm works, uh, likes and comments and that sort of thing and shares, and up for the next video. So this one uh, is one that I've been working on before I ceased uh, posting, and I had a lot of questions about uh, Save-A-Dive Kit. What do we put in our Save-A-Dive Kit? And our Save-A-Dive Kit is like the MVP on many of our trips. Uh, just this last trip, I think we fixed three or four problems. Uh, so we're going to take a tour through the kit, and you can mix or match what you think uh, suits you. Let's get right into it. Okay, let's have a look uh, what we're, what's in the box here. Uh, so first, um, so we're looking at the main compartment here. Um, so I've got a few of these spanner wrenches for regulators, right? That one is aluminum and these two are steel. Throw those on the bottom. Uh, this is a, uh, it's a tool for the BC pull dump uh, to be able to install, uninstall and change the pieces and parts. This is kind of becoming obsolete because the newer bladders are coming with uh, the pull dump fixture already on it. So uh, this is a wrench that I rarely use anymore. In fact, I really should just take it out, but this will, uh, this is, I believe a 19 and that will hold um, the, the bolt of a yoke of an apex. I don't know why I keep it in there actually. It's heavy, I should just take it out. All right, um, a large uh, crescent wrench. Let's see, this is a, a holder, right? For the regulator, the high pressure and low pressure port for when you're servicing or working on it. Um, let's see. All right, here's the uh, special tool, also for an Apex, right? I, I can't remember what size this is. I got these from Scuba Tools, but I have two sets of them, right? These will, will go through the yoke nut um, and uh, be able to unloosen that yoke nut. So these go in there in the bottom somewhere. Um, I always keep an old, this is an old uh, Leatherman, and it's mostly for the pliers function, but I do use the knife a, a fair bit and basically nothing else. So that, and that's nice and compact, so that, that stays in the bottom here. What else? Uh, oh yeah, always have a pair of scissors in there. This is super handy, obviously, cutting rope, cutting uh, dry suit seals, uh, etc. So that stays in there. Um, I have a pair of, of smaller adjustable wrenches, and one of them, the one on the left here, this is a thinner design. In Japan, this is called a lobster brand, and that's really nice, because uh, sometimes when you're working on regulators, taking the hoses off and whatnot, um, or actually working with where the regulator attaches to a hose and you need to use two of these together. Sometimes it's really nice to have a thin one and that one's nice and thin. Uh, what else? Um, all right, this is my really, really nice inline adjuster from scubatools.com. Uh, it has the hex on this side. It's uh, for Hog and, and other brands. And on this side, it has the screw for Apex and other brands. And um, this allows you to hook up the hose to one side and, and the regulator to the other and, and adjust the cracking pressure. Um, of course, that needs to be used with the gauge, right, which is over here, but this one fits over here. Um, I have a bunch of assorted uh, Allen keys here. Uh, there are more. This is a excess scuba, scuba tool, though uh, lots of people make it now. It has a few sizes of uh, useful hex wrenches. It has a screwdriver, um, has a, a pick for O-rings here, and it has um, I think this is for a high pressure seat. That's just a regular plus screwdriver. And this is a tool for tank valve uh, screw right there. Okay, so that, that's a really nice little tool. I use that probably more than almost anything that's in there. And this is something my team gave me once for my birthday. This is an excess tool. It's, it's very nice, has nice leverage. It has the same three hexes uh, that were in this excess scuba tool, but it also has uh, the common size of of bolts for that would be your your hoses and regulators and whatnot and this is the valve tool that's very nice as well that stays in here all right so that's my main compartment all right let's have a look at the next compartment down here uh, this one basically I keep a buttload of string in there right this is all cave line that I'm using for various stuff right tying up uh, usually bolt snaps uh, speaking of bolt snaps right, I try and keep uh, two large bolt snaps and ones I like are ones that actually your finger can fit through, and that's so, whether it's a stage tank or a camera, it's, it's very nice, 
you know, to be able to, to have your finger inside that while you're, you're bolt snapping, just in case this becomes fiddly, you still have the security down there. So I get these, I think, from Excess Scuba. I keep a couple of those in there. I've got the smaller size that would be for your second stage DIR style on your primary. Um, I actually, I'm surprised I only have, have one, but these I always keep. These are always getting lost, and I, everybody likes to have their stuff wired tight. So these are nice for your secondary if someone's in a traditional rig. Uh, this is a snorkel, um, <clears throat> the kinds of snorkels I use. These are snorkel clip. Uh, this is a stainless steel nail clipper. <clears throat> this, is for, this is for cutting zip ties nice and tight so I don't scratch anybody. I uh, have a, I don't know what this was. This was a holder for, uh, for a camera. <laughs> I uh, keep a bunch of bungee in here. This is uh, the kind for a necklace. This is the kind for other various uh, uses. I do find that useful. Put that in there. The This is a, a spare buckle of the kind I use on my rental BCs. I keep one of those in there. And then last, and possibly most importantly, right? this is um, a generic inflator. They're pretty cheap, I think. I don't know. They're probably about 20 bucks or so. And... I go through probably a half a dozen of these a season, right, for, for my or for other people's BCs, right? The most common leak is, is down here. Sometimes it's just easiest to plop it off and plop a new one on, right? And that fits pretty much right in there. Going on to uh, another compartment here. So this one I keep a little bit more bungee in. You never can have too much bungee, apparently. And it's also nice to keep tools and stuff from knocking together. So, And then also in there, and I see I'm in short supply. Um, my rental regulators use a, what is this, a CR2450 um, battery, and they do not last very long. They're always running out, so usually I'll keep a few extra batteries in here, so probably I should fill up a few more. But whatever your, uh, your or maybe your buddy's uh, dive battery, if, if, if they're able to change the battery themselves on their computer, it's a nice idea to have it. Uh, apparently I have another clipper and yet another clipper. This is the one I usually like to use though, obviously, because it has the most leverage, right? Um, what's nice is, right, that curved uh, surface there, it, it cuts, um, it cuts, it cuts zip ties so that they don't have a sharp edge, right? And something like this, right, I usually keep that um, slightly covered with uh, silicone grease to keep that from rusting up, right? Okay, that's there. Now, over here, there, this is the tool for to open up my primary uh, rental computers. So this is, I have two of them there, those are in there. This is a really nice tool. Um, you can get that from a variety of places. But this will um, open um, this section here on a, uh, an inflator, a power inflator, and let you get in there and service it. Although I don't do that very often. I usually just replace them. Uh, this is an insert for a pro valve. I do use those at one of my dive sites. I've got one in there. Um, let's see, these are some extra, um, what do you call those, wing nuts, I use those for back plate and wing, those are a standard size, it's another pro valve, uh, let's see, here is uh, an elastic for uh, back plate and wing, this is, uh, what, this is on a wing, the pull dump, this is, it goes inside, it's like an inner seal, um, this is a o-ring pick for a photographic, um, o-ring, or a photograph case. Oh, these these are handy. These are little uh, moisture munchers. So whenever I eat something and and I have these extra, I'll, I'll pop them in here. Those are good for for camera cases. People might be fogging up and, and be able to use that. These are some extra blades for a cutter that I use for zip seal for zip seals for seals uh, dry suit seals. Another string. This is some silicone grease. Some extra. Don't know why. Um, and then I've got uh, I've got my regular silicone grease, and I have my oxygen safe silicone grease. I keep these in there. And then last, I have a lighter. And <laughs> yeah, and this one is for burning, actually pre-burning um, two-inch webbing before I cut it. I'm going to burn it so it cuts nice and nice and tight. Okay. This compartment here is not so exciting. Uh, this is a, uh, <clears throat> let me see, for a secondary, this is a bungee. This one's ready to go all set. And then the other stuff in here, these are just spare plugs, right? Uh, whenever I have them, I just throw them in there. And it, when it gets too much, I throw them out. These are kind of nice. These are plugs that will go in the second stage if you don't have a steel plug in there. Um, and, and these are for hoses. So basically, I just keep that like half full. And anytime it starts to get more full than that, I'll... I'll toss it somewhere in my in my storage and probably get lost anyway. Um, 
over here, right, this is a spot that gets used a fair bit, right? So these are my generally my O-rings. Um, let's have a look here. Ah, okay, so here are more batteries. That's good to see. All right, so that means I've got three spares. That's good. Uh, these you might have seen in another video, right? These are the spools, right? The barrels are the spools for um, with the O-rings on them already. Those are for... Um, SPGs, right? Keep those in there. And then this kit is basically a kit of O-rings that I originally got from, I believe it was Dive Gear Express, and they give you like, you know, a few of everything, and uh, it's a really handy little kit. They're all Viton, uh, super handy, and I keep that in there, and those have saved a gazillion dives, right? Um, and then, kind of equally uh, useful, that, that comes with that. I, I do have a better version of this, but when you get this little kit, it, it gives you a little explanation of what the, the standard order number is for each O-ring and where it's used, right? Because sometimes when you line up an O-ring, it may or may not look good, um, especially if the other one was, was severely damaged, but if you've lost, lost it, then you're really in a, in a bind. And some of these are kind of close in size. So this little size sheet, and I made a copy as soon as I got it, is real useful, right? So that goes in there, and then I've got the batteries on the other side. All right, so lots of manufacturers make little save-a-dive kits, but it's nice uh, save-a-dive kits. Lots of manufacturers make little um, sets of O-ring save-a-dive kits, and uh, it's nice if you can pop that into your bigger right, set. Moving on to over here. Uh, this is an XS Scuba small SPG. I use these for our deco stages. These are two Delrin caps. They go for uh, DIN regulators those in there. Here's another uh, pro valve insert. I seem to have these all over the place. Uh, these are our two Delrin wing nuts. Uh, they're supposed to be unbreakable, but I have broke a few of them. I'm not a big fan of these, but I keep them in there. And this is, I have no idea. I think this is uh, an accessory to my uh, in intermediate pressure check, but I'm not even sure anymore. But most importantly, in that section, I keep this. This is my... Um, my, my IP pressure checker that goes along with the cracking pressure adjuster from Scuba Tools. So a really nice, really nice setup. So that fits nicely right in there. All right, next we're moving on up to over here. So I, I have a couple plugs. Uh, these are, I have some, some tank valves that uh, they, usually they're manifolded in doubles, but I can break them down and make them into singles. And these are the plugs that would let me do that. So those are in there, probably long forgotten about. So I keep them there on the bottom. Um, this is another uh, inline cracking pressure adjuster, kind of like this one, except uh, this one isn't quite as nice, but it's still pretty functional, um, and it has the screwdriver um, adjustment there, but you can also put a hex on there, But so this, this is, is a nice tool, it's usable, I, although I hardly ever use it. All right, over here I have a, a keep, some keepers, all right? and most of the ones that I keep in there are plastic variety. And every once in a while, someone will come loose or get lost on their VC, and I'll replace it with okay. Right, headed into the main compartment. Uh, first thing, I have a bunch of zip ties, right? So these would be for the mouthpiece, for securing things onto uh, hoses. Uh, they're, they're a great fixer for absolutely anything temporarily that might break. Uh, so a bunch of zip ties of, of all different sizes, right? All right. Um, I always keep a couple uh, chopsticks in there. These are good for getting out the... Uh, the seat when you're uh, in your second stage, right? A lot of times when you unscrew it, it doesn't come out. You have to push it out from the other side, and the wood helps it to not get broken. Um, so the, that's the primary purpose of those. Uh, let me see, writing devices. So these are those uh, marker, paint markers. They do go dry. This one probably doesn't even work anymore. <laughs> As this, this one, I have no idea. This one is a space pen that my family gave me. They're supposed to last in any situation, and, and they really do. The main problem is it always comes unscrewed, and I have to put it together, but that, that always does work. Uh, what else? I have a couple uh, like pizza cutters uh, for, I usually use these for dry suit seals. Um, although now with latex going down and uh, silicone seals, which usually don't need to be trimmed, I'm not using these uh, as much. Um, all right, what else? Uh, ah, this is really nice. This is a, a marker pencil. So this pencil is very interesting. Um, so it has a super thick lead and there's nothing, it's all plastic in here. So uh, we were using these for like underwater use, and there's a way to, to attach a bungee through here, and they're they're kind of nice. So this becomes an erasable uh, pencil for underwater, 
and then uh, use a, uh, an eraser for that for on slates or whatnot. Uh, this is a, uh, a spare um, attachment for P valve uh, for the two tubes. This is the size we use, so I keep one of these in there. As usual, very often one of these pieces, and I forget which one, but one side of these will often get lost. So, um, what else? Uh, this one is a uh, a little bit of air pressure uh, shooter, so you hook that up to your uh, your BC hose and this right that can help dry out a regulator if you're doing some service or some work uh, what else now this one this one I'm really proud of actually this this was this this is a great thing right so sometimes we go to remote locations and we take tanks uh, with us in a car to go from site to site and occasionally some of those tanks aren't as full as we'd like them to be so so here right we have a uh, pressure checker right um, but what's nice about this one what I did was I bought uh, I bought, when I bought it, I bought the DIN one, right? So actually, this is a, a DIN pressure checker, and then I have uh, a, a DIN to yoke converter here. And why this is nice is because it's a little bit bigger than the normal unit, absolutely. So in that sense, it's gonna take up some extra space in your box. And this is a big space and weight investment, right? However, what happens is, this piece, I always. This means I always have a spare DIN to yoke converter, and every once in a while, someone will come to dive, and they only have DIN regulator, right? And they, and this is what saves them, right? I have this. I could take it out of my box, and they use it. And luckily, so far, it always makes it back. All right, so that's kind of nice. All right, next, uh, I keep an O-ring pick set. Right, this one's an excess scuba set. Keep those in there. And then last, this is my um, my tool for opening regulator faces, right? That helps me get a little extra leverage and that gets a lot of use actually. And those are really cheap. Also, excess scuba, uh, it's a really nice little thing. So that is the dive kit. If anybody wanted to know, I get that question a lot. It goes into this box, locks like that. There we go. All right, so there's one thing that, that was missing from the box that I've used recently that I need to replace. Usually I'll have an extra few of these right the dust caps and I like the apex ones because apex ones have a tank o-ring on them uh, and uh, I'll keep a few of these in there because what often happens they'll crack here over time and then this will fall out and disappear and then someone will be left without a protective regulator I just used the last few of these when I did the regulator servicing so I need to buy a few more to keep in the box so that would be the last thing all right okay hope you enjoyed that hope you got something out of it um, to add to your kit or create a new kit, uh, however that may be. Um, as I said before, you know, if, you're, uh, if you'd like to help the channel grow, if you'd like to support us, go ahead, press the like, engage, right? Ask a question, give a comment, uh, share would be fantastic, and uh, see you on the beach.